Hey guys, Zelonius here. Welcome to the first EAFC video ever on this channel. I'm excited for this one. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you start squads. Uh, 50k budget, 100k, 250k and 500k. We've got a mix of nations, a mix of leagues and a mix of genders for the first time ever in Ultimate Team. I'm excited for this one, so let's get into it. So here we are, first of all, with the 50k team. Obviously, a few disclaimers. I don't know what the meta is going to be fully yet. I know what tends to work consistently every FIFA. So pace, good weak foot and skill moves, high dribbling stats, good physicals on defenders. The formations that tend to be pretty consistent. So I'm basing these off of what I know tends to be good most FIFAs and a little bit of guesswork. So bear that in mind when you watch this video. Obviously as well, the prices are very up and down right now. The web app's been out maybe, what is it, a day? The game officially launches tonight. So the budgets will be a little bit off. This says 48k here. This is the 50k team. As well, I'm trying to mix in some females into here as well. I think there's going to be some ridiculously good OP value um, female players because people might not know about them as much. Might be some hidden gems. And I don't fully know if female defenders are going to be too small. Normally bigger defenders work better. But there's going to be a little bit of guesswork. And I will do a new video in a week or two where I look at some of the um, best starter budgets teams and when I know more about the game and how it plays. But the first team we've got here, Appenda is the star of it. 17k, 93 pace, no skill moves. You're definitely going to have to lack a little bit in a, a 50k budget team. But Appenda, Marlon, very good. This team though does have a lot of pace. You can play this team in a variety of ways. You can play a three-man midfield if you're like, looking at like a 4-3-2-1. Or Xavi Simons could play in an attacking position. He's got enough pace. Salma Paraluleo. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it right, but she's got ridiculous pace. Very solid on the ball as well. So we have a rapid front three or four if you want to play that. I've put the metro in to make sure we've got a bit of a bigger midfield. Whether it's a two midfield can't say two man midfield really well. Can I or three in midfield with Simons? He's like six foot three. Rosa Marquez, very solid all round, cheap card. Uh, very nice on the ball, but she's a bit small. And I, I'm going to assume while small players look cracked from what I've seen of gameplay so far in terms of how good they are on the ball, you still want to have some physical big presences in there. Um, again, like I said, I don't know if some of these centre backs from female players are going to be a bit small. Well, time will tell. Are you sick of getting out teamed on FIFA? Want more coins to build that god squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out utnice.com, the best place to buy coins for FIFA 23. They're simple, easy to use. Use code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out utnice.com today. Klosterman and Rob, very, very good value for what they are. Very quick. Castiles, don't cheap out on keepers. I'm definitely sticking with male tall keepers for now. Um, Carmen Baneo looks pretty good there, very quick. Sheila, very good value, solid all round. Decent skill moves and weak foot. So I think that is a pretty damn good team for around 50k. And everyone can get on full chemistry if you put a manager that suits them. So that's pretty nice. The 100k team. Again, still some weaknesses. We've stuck with just men for this team. Um, this team... Other than, I think, maybe, no, Bano can it if you, no. Yeah, I don't think he can actually get full chem unless you had a Moroccan. Um, if there's a Moroccan manager, Bano can get chem. Um, but the defence, really quick. Ibanez is one of the fastest centre-backs in the game. Bremer, very good Brazilian partner, very solid as well for an 84. Spinozola and Cudrado, really, really fast. We've kind of done a Saudi um, Serie A hybrid here. Of course, as well, you can change players in these teams. These teams aren't like I'm saying you have to stick to these teams. Um, Rabio gives us a lot of physicality with Kessie. Barella, very good all round. Got really insane stats for a midfielder. He's just free, free. That's the issue. And obviously, we need to see how these play styles turn up. Are these play styles, are some going to be useless? Are they all going to be useless? Are some going to be insane? Some sound insane. Like one that I'm going to do a video on all of these especially after a few days of playing the game. But one that sounds insane is the power shot play style. If you have the gold version, from what I'm gathering, it makes power shots like normal shots. By that, I mean the time it takes. Mia Hamm could be the best card in the game. She has the gold power shot. and just looks insane in general. 
But we've got a very good midfield, a very good mix here. Martinez, not very quick. The issue with this team is the lack of pace. Maybe you might think you can do better. I've got five-star skills, and though to get two very good five-star skillers in here, I think for a 100k budget team, it's pretty good. Mares, obviously not the quickest, but insane on the ball. Mares, very well-rounded for such a cheap card. So we've lacked in some areas, but I think we've made up for it in others. Now, the 250k squad we've got is actually about 300k right now, apparently. You can get full chem on everyone except for Pope. To do this, you, um, I think you just put an English manager. I'm, I'm a bit confused sometimes with these. I think, though, yeah, that means if you get one more English in there, you get another. So if you get English manager, James, Kirby, Pope, they get full chem. And then one more National Women's Super League. Everyone in this team's full chem then except for Pope. The team, in my opinion, very, very solid all round. We've got a very good keeper. On two chem, he'll be fine. Sonnet, stats-wise, is brilliant. Again, might be a bit small, but fast for a start, a centre-back. Very solid defending physical. Not bad on the ball, good passing. We've got one of the best left-backs in the game. Kim Min Jae, tall, partners Sonnet well. Very solid pace, suits us for chem. O'Hara, not the best, but a pretty good all round An 83 right back with decent pace is nice. Goretzka, we've got a unit in midfield. Goretzka's always one of the best start midfielders, nearly in the Hullet gang already. Stanaway, really, really good all round stats. Very high pass. I want to show you Stanaway. Um, I think Stanaway genuinely looks like an absolute bargain for what you get. English and Bayern Munich's very good. She's got a gold play style on pinged pass, so it makes her passing very good. Fairly solid at the start of the game, I think, for a midfielder. That 80 pace can shoot. Really good passing. Okay physical. Good defending. Good on the ball. I think that is a really, really good start midfield pair. Her and Goretzka. Kirby's in there. Probably the weak start of our attacks, but pretty good. Uh, Lauren James, five-star, four-star. She's not got great agility, but she's got 87 pace, 90 strength. And then Swanson and Rodman. Expensive. But very, very good. If you look at Rodman, I think that's Dennis Rodman's daughter as well, as someone told me. She has quick step, gold play style, accelerates significantly faster. That sounds like it could be OP. She's rapid. If you put a hawk on her, she's got near 99 pace, great shot, good on the ball, decent passing, really good physical. Someone who's 5'6 with those physical stats at the start of the game, I think could be incredible. Swanson's one of the fastest attackers in the game. I think that team is really, really good value for what we're paying for it. You could also, as well, potentially swap out Kirby for Lavelle. She's better. And then swap out Sonnet for another centre-back. And male one if you want someone a bit taller. For the final team, around 600k. Now, there are some weaknesses in here. There are a couple of players that raise the price a lot. Dabina. Dabina, probably is how you pronounce it. She's the new Neymar, basically. We still have Neymar, obviously, but if you look at her, with a Hunter, she's 5'5". Five, five. Being 5'1", on the beta when I used her, she seemed insanely fast and good at turning. She's got a good pace, ridiculous shot, great passing. That physical for 5'1", with those dribbling stats, she's one of the best dribblers in the game. She's got a lot of play styles. I think she's going to be one of the top attackers in the game early on. Yes, she's not cheap. That's one of the reasons this team costs a lot. But that front four, you've got insane pace with Swanson Rodman. Dabinia's going to be your star. Diego Jota, or Diogo Jota, very good early on. And we've got two absolute units in midfield, two of the best star midfielders in the game. Tonali might be a bit more expensive, but he's still an absolute beast. You could maybe get better value than Tonali. The defence is quick. Semedo is a bit of a weak link. He's in there, though, to get chemistry for Jota. You could swap some players around. You'd have to stick with the exact squad I've done. But I think Saliba is one of the best starter centre-backs at the beginning. Van de Ven, very good value for a Prem guy. He looks a lot better than a 78. Henry, really fast, helps the Kem. Pope, full Kem. So this team can get pretty much full Kem across the board. Dabinia doesn't get quite full Kem. That is a bit of an issue. You could swap someone around. Um, if you put... I, I, I would mess around with this team... You could maybe swap one more player in, but you're going to have to choose someone to miss Kemp. But these guys don't even need that much pace. And Dabinia with 5-5 is already pretty cracked. 
I'm not sure if that's the best team I could have done, but there's just so many players at this point. I think that team's got a lot of quality in there. My favourite team, I would say, is probably the 300k team, which is probably a bit close to what people's budgets are going to be within a few days to a week. Let me know what you guys think. Have you got any budget start teams? Are there any players you think are must-have that are just insane value that people are missing out on? Like I say, it's new territory for me, this FIFA, or EAFC. I'm going to say FIFA so many times. Female players being added, there's a whole new world of players in there. We need to see what the better players like before. I'm going to have a much better grasp of what to recommend to you guys. But I think these teams look very good to start with. Appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps a lot of the channel. Appreciate you guys as always. Keep it spicy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.